Hello and welcome to the PC Building Simulator Deep Dive Series, where we will cover a range of different in-game features in detail. This series will provide you with the information you need to help you get through the more complex parts of the game. I'm Big Jake 901 and you can find more of my content at youtube.com forward slash Big Jake 901 or by clicking the link down in the description. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to overclock a Ryzen Threadripper processor. This process will work for any Ryzen processor. Honestly, this process will work for even Intel. Let's take a look at what I'm using here. Scroll up to the top. I've got a Ryzen Threadripper 3960X. The rest of the parts don't matter all that much, to be quite honest with you. Uh, you definitely need a decent cooler. I've chosen to go with custom water cooling, but any decent air cooler or AIO will definitely work. Uh, when overclocking, heat is your enemy, so you're going to want decent cooling to keep that CPU as cool as possible. This system I've put together is definitely a very expensive build. Uh, for overclocking, you do not need anything nearly this expensive. You can go with a much cheaper motherboard. And this obviously is not the top of the line Threadripper, only because the top of the line one is really close to its thermal limits. And I wanted to show you guys a decent overclock, which the lower level Threadrippers should let us get to. So first off, this thing's already up and running. I do not have an overclock on it. The only software you're going to need, you're going to need the operating system installed and you're going to need OCCT because this is how you check and make sure that your CPU isn't throttling and you keep an eye on your CPU temperature because like I said, heat is the enemy of your overclock. You've got to keep that thing cool. So we're at stock speeds. Let's go ahead and run this one time. Let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting with just everything set at stock. All right, so as you can see, we hit a max of 55.79C, which is not bad at all for everything stock. We did not CPU throttle whatsoever. These are the only two things you need to concern yourself with when overclocking the CPU. Uh, GPU temp does not matter because we are not currently overclocking that. Power draw matters a little bit. We hit a max of 392 watts. This will only come into play if you're using a low wattage power supply. I've got a 1200 watt or a 1600 watt, I don't remember, power supply in there. So we're not going to hit any of those uh, power draw limits. Let's get out of here. Let's go into our BIOS. We're going to restart. And as soon as the screen pops up, we're going to hit delete or F2, whichever one you want to use, to enter our BIOS. So we're going to head over here to the CPU OC tab. Here you will see the CPU speed, which it's currently at, is 4,500 megahertz. Here's our base clock, which is 100 megahertz. Here's our ratio, which is a 45. And here is our voltage, which is 1.35 volts. Over here you can also see our current CPU speed and CPU temp, as well as the speed of the RAM, or what it's currently at. I have not overclocked the RAM. Not everything on here is stock. So generally when we overclock, we raise this ratio and we raise the voltage. We can also raise the base clock, but we're mainly going to focus on the ratio and the voltage. So I know just from messing around with this, that even though this says not to go, if you look down here at the bottom, it says, I can't point at it because when I move, it goes away. But if you look down at the bottom of the screen, it says warning too much voltage can damage a CPU and we recommend you don't go above 1.5 volts. However, most CPUs in this game can easily handle 1.65 to 1.7 volts, or sometimes even higher if you get an excellent CPU. So to start off with, it's very easy just to go right on up to 1.65 volts, which is very safe, and then you can start increasing your ratio. Overclocking is a lot of blue screen crashing while running OCCT and coming back to the BIOS and changing settings. But let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if we can get this thing up to 4,700 megahertz. I don't know if it'll go that high, but we're going to try it at 1.65 volts. We're going to go over here to settings, and we're going to go ahead and apply changes and restart. All right, now that we're back in the operating system, let's open up OCCT. As you can see, our, our temps are already higher than they were previously. So let's go ahead and start this up. Let's see what kind of temperatures we get. And we'll see if we crash. 
So we're already up to 95. We're thro so we're th CP our CPU is throttling now. So if we were running a game or something like that, it would start stuttering. If we were running 3D Mark during the CPU portion of the test, it would be stuttering and dropping frames. So that is not a good thing. We definitely don't want it to throttle. So we're going to close out. We're going to go back into our BIOS. We're going to restart. We're going to hold down the delete button. And we're going to enter back into the BIOS. So back over here under the CPU OC, we're going to back off. We're going to back off this ratio. Let's back down to 46.75 as our multiplier. So we're down to 4,675 megahertz. Let's go ahead and apply the changes and restart. Let's open OCCT back up again. Our temps have come down just a little bit from what they were. We were up at like 55C, if I remember right. So hopefully this will be a little more stable. Let's go ahead and start it up. And let's see if we CPU throttle. So we're up to 88. So that's much, much better. So it's not currently throttling and we haven't blue screened. Now, if we went higher and the CPU couldn't throttle back down to keep the temps under 100C, that's when we would blue screen. So this looks, this looks fairly stable. So if we want to, we can try to push this a little bit further by restarting. And we can use the base clock multiplier to try to push the CPU just a little bit further. So let's hold down the delete key. We'll go back over here to CPU OC. So our base clock is at 100 megahertz. So what if we go up to 101? So now we're up to 4,721 megahertz. Let's go ahead and apply that. We'll let the operating system boot back up again. Let's start up OCCT. Again, our temps are much higher than they were. But well, let's see. Let's see if we throttle or if we happen to blue screen even. This might push us to the blue screen point. So we're already up to 80, 90, 95. So we're throttling. We're not blue screening, which is good. We haven't pushed it so far as to blue screen, but we are throttling. So we're gonna have to take that. We're gonna have to take that base clock back down. So I believe we've hit our max overclock. So let's go ahead, let's restart. Hold down delete again to go back into the BIOS. Back over to the CPU OC tab. So this base clock, we just, we're not going to be able to raise that at all. We're gonna have to come back down to hundred megahertz. So it looks like 4,675 megahertz is gonna be our top overclock for this CPU. Now, if we wanted to, we could try to bring the voltage down a little bit. So let's do that. There's no point in pushing more voltage to it than necessary. So let's drop it down to 1.6 volts. We'll go ahead and apply those changes. We'll let this thing boot back up into the operating system. We'll start up OCCT again. And our temps have already come back down. So let's start this up. We should be fine. Unless we don't have enough power going to the CPU. So this looks good. Ultimately, we can keep dropping that power down until we get a crash. So I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna start dropping that power limit down as far as I can until it crashes, and then I will come right back and show you guys what happens when you don't have enough power going to your CPU. Okay, so we have now received a blue screen. We're at 1.45 volts. It just isn't enough to supply the processor with the amount of power that it needs. So let's go ahead. We can push P to power this down. We'll push P to start it back up. We'll hold down the delete button. We'll go back into our BIOS and we can raise this up. So 1.5 volts at 4,675 megahertz is our maximum overclock for this. So here's OCCT again. 
Here we are at 4,675 megahertz. So we've got a 103.9% overclock. We'll go ahead and run this one more time just so I can show you guys that it is stable. So there it is, all stable. CPU did not throttle. We hit a max temperature of 88.54C. So that is how you overclock a Threadripper CPU. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you in the next episode.